Hello everybody, today I'll show you how you can integrate SDA Ticket System and Zendesk, a leading provider of a cloud-based customer service platform. I will create tickets in SAP that will be transferred to Zendesk. So, first let me quickly show you our Zendesk agent interface. There are a few things we have to set up. The first one is the agents we use. So, I press admin and people. This is the user that will report all incidents from our SAP system in this example. Naturally, you can set up as many as you like. You can set up a Zendesk agent for each SAP user, or you can set up one single Zendesk agent that will be used to send incidents from the SAP system. The second thing you need to customize is user fields. A new field called SAP user must be set up. This is used to assign the SAP user to the Zendesk agent. Our ticket system uses this field to select the Zendesk agent to use for sending the incidents to Zendesk. Let me show you how you can add custom fields to Zendesk. Click here on Ticket Fields and here you can see that we've added three custom fields Impact, Problem Type and Urgency. If I click on Impact for example you can see that this is a drop-down field and here you can see the possible values for the field. The tags will be used in SAP when sending an incident to Zendesk. OK. Groups. Groups can also be defined in Zendesk. So if I click here on the group field, I can see that these are the groups we have customized. We also have to enable the API for Zendesk here. We use basic authentication, so the email address and password is used for authentication. Well, that's it on the Zendesk side. Let's see what we need to do in SAP. We provide a report that synchronizes Zendesk and the customizing of STA ticket system. Let me show you how it works. You can use transaction slash n slash stats slash zendesk sync. Here you can select the entities you want to synchronize. Now we will synchronize everything, groups, fields and users. Here you can control if you want to update the da database or just want to display the data received from the zendesk. Finally, here this is the RFC destination that will be used to connect to your Zendesk account. Let's execute the report. The user interface is pretty simple, but it does the job. Here we have the list of groups defined in Zendesk. Each group has an internal ID that the ticket system will use when creating a ticket. Here we have our agent again with its internal ID and the assigned SAP user. And here we have all the custom fields and their internal IDs and possible values. The nice thing about this is that you don't have to fill any of the customizing tables. Simply tick the Save to Database checkbox on the selection screen and all your Zendesk customizing will be saved in your SAP system. Of course, you can edit all these customizing tables manually if you want to, but this report makes the integration quite easy. So let's see the customizing of STA ticket system and connect it with Zendesk. I execute another transaction. This is the central customizing transaction where you can find all settings. Here I customize ticket system to use this function module to send the incidents to Zendesk. Here I define which RFC destination to use to connect to Zendesk and I uncheck these checkboxes because we won't use SAP Office to send the tickets anymore. I also replace the subscreen program and function module uh, so Zendesk custom fields will be displayed. Let me know that all these objects are delivered by us so if you choose to have our Zendesk connector package, you don't have to do any development, unless you want to have your own extra fields or business logic. 
In that case, you can simply copy our objects and change them as you wish. So that's all about customizing. Let's see the program in action. I save the changes and I will report an error from transaction EP. It displays business partner number 331 at the moment and let's suppose that this tax jurisdiction is incorrect so I report an error. I can use the system menu STA add-ons and create modified ticket. This calls the main window of STA ticket system. Here I simply enter a subject and a description. Here we have our subscreen we defined in our customizing. This contains all the custom fields we defined in Zendesk and also the standard ones that are required like the priority. The group is filled automatically based on parameter in our user master record. Let me select now the values. So the problem type could be functional correctness, the urgency could be preventing some non-urgent work, impact maybe the entire SAP system. The priority can be normal. I can add some tags like BP tax juris Diction. And uh, that's it. There's another really great feature of STA ticket system that you can add field values based on the current screen to the ticket. This helps developers a lot because then they can identify the problem much easier. Also, this eliminates human error. There won't be any typos in your error reports. So I press this button and add some screen fields. These are the fields taken from the screen. You don't have to type it manually. You just select them and add it to the ticket. Practically that's it. I will also add a shortcut to the problematic business partner too. This will be attached to the in incident in Zendesk. Once you're finished, press this button to complete the ticket and send it to Zendesk. As you can see the ticket is successfully created so let's check it out in the Zendesk agent interface. So I press this button and here it is. If I click on it I get a detailed view. So as you can see the incident is assigned to a group that I defined in SAP. The priority is set, the uh, custom fields are filled. He here you have the tags, here's the detailed description and also the attachments. Let's check this one, this is the PDF generated by Ticket System. It includes all the information we entered and also some additional stuff. For example the SAP system uh, and client, the logon language, and also the runtime environment, the transaction code, screen number, subscreen number, program uh, name, and so on. Here you can find the fields that I've checked to include in the ticket. So again, here we have the program name, screen number, field name, and of course the field value. The call stack is also automatically included in this PDF. All right, let's check the other attachment, which is a shortcut to the problematic business partner. So if I click it and execute it, then I can log on into the relevant system and relevant client and the problematic business partner is displayed. Pretty nice, isn't it? So, this is the end of the demo. As you could see, it's really easy to connect an SAP system and Zendesk using our ticket system. You can provide your SAP development team complete and accurate error reports, which they will really appreciate. And you can also help end users and business analysts who will have much less to do to create an incident. 
All right, I hope you enjoyed this video. Please share it if you liked it and don't miss the other videos on our YouTube channel or on our website, sta-technologies.com. Thanks for watching and have a nice day.